Hi everyone, I'm Ali Collins, professional tennis player from Dunblane in Scotland and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my tennis journey and my time at Soto Tennis Academy. So I started playing when I was five years old and I played loads of different sports. I loved football as well, but tennis seemed to be the one that stuck. And around nine, ten, I started to take things a little bit more seriously, travelled a little bit and then went on my first trip abroad for a tennis tournament, which was so exciting. But then after that, I went kind of into the junior circuit, got to around top 60 in the world, played the junior Grand Slam. So I got some amazing experiences through the junior circuit. But then after that, I started to really struggle with some of the obstacles that tennis has, which is the lifestyle of traveling all the time, being away from your family and friends when I was such a home bird. So I really struggled with that and struggled with homesickness started to get quite anxious and quite nervous at tournaments and things like that. So I was very quickly falling out of love with the sport. And that's why I think Soto Tennis has such a special place in my heart because soon after that, I went to Soto for a trial. And as soon as I went there and I met the team and I met the guys and I, and I loved the environment, my love started to come back for the game, which is what I'd always wanted. And it was just such a special feeling and I can't thank the guys enough for that, that they they managed to do that for me. Um, but honestly, it's such a welcoming environment, so friendly, such a family vibe, which is exactly what I was looking for at the time, obviously having to move away from my family. I wanted it to feel sort of like a family. And that's exactly what Soto Tennis is. It's just a big tennis family and it's such a nice environment. And obviously from that, I created a really good connection with Dan, and Dan's genuinely one of the best coaches I've ever worked with. We got on so well. He really, but the main thing is he cared for me as a person before an athlete. And I think that was such a big thing for me. And, and I instantly trusted him and we had such a great connection. And I can't thank Dan enough for all the help he gave me, all the confidence he gave me, the belief. You know, he really brought all that back, which was pretty much non-existent at that point. Um, and since then, I've gone on to reach my career high of 110 WTA and doubles last year and hopefully look to push the top 100 in doubles this year. But none of this would have been possible without the work that all the guys at Soto did for me and all the work behind the scenes. You know, it's been such an amazing journey, such a difficult journey. But I'm so proud to say now that I, I love the game again and that is due to all the work that Soto did as well. They were a massive part of my career, so can't thank everybody enough there for that. But yeah, that's a little bit about my journey and my time at Soto Tennis Academy. So I hope you enjoyed listening and thank you for listening.